guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, my bin is empty, my candles are empty, so it's time for another trash talk video. So without further ado, let's get into it. It's been another week full of fragrance, fun, and not so super hot weather, which was super exciting. I had a lot of days where I had my windows open. It was so beautiful. I mean, some days I definitely didn't need the air, but I definitely think air condition has an effect on fragrance. I mean, we've talked about it before. We know it's true. This week, I melted Sassy Girl Aroma. That was the vendor of the week's choice. I do have a little bit of other vendors in here for like my bathroom, my laundry room, my bedroom. So I do have some other mixes here. And then I have five candles. So I definitely got through a lot of wax. Um, some things like this, I'm not going to put back in my like Sassy Girl Aroma drawer. I'm going to stick it in like my need to use up and this is like what I'll use to feature in like my bathroom or my laundry room or maybe like my bedroom for a day just because I do not like to keep things half used that's why I like the brittles versus loaves I think personally because like look at this loaf like well this is a whole story but I have still half of a loaf here that I need to melt because I didn't use it all and I know some people I don't know how you do it. They use like tiny pieces and they use it like in one room and like only have like two warmers. I don't know. I Maybe I just have way too many warmers. I don't know. But I just, I like to use it up. If I'm like cutting a loaf, I'm like, I'm going to use this whole loaf in all the rooms to just use it up. And then I'm like, it's like $20 for one use. And then if it doesn't perform in like four hours, I'm like $20 for four hours of scent. Like, no. Let's start with candles. I have five candles that I used up. The first one is this Manly Indulgence. This is from TJ Maxx. I don't even know why I have these. I got these because I thought like the packaging was cute and I was super into shaving cream scents, but I mean these barely threw. These are from, if you look on the bottom, Colonial Candle makes these, I think, right? MVP Group International. I thought these say like made by Colonial Candle, the Manly Indulgence line. I don't know, these were like $7.99 at TJ Maxx. I stuck in my bathroom. It did burn really well, but I mean the scent, it's um, fresh shave, poured in the USA with notes of musk, vanilla, amber, and cedar wood. Yeah, it just smells like a, like a light men's cologne. It was okay. I would not repurchase those. I don't even know why I have them. All right, so next on to Bath & Body Works, I finished a laundry day candle. Burn all the way down. Love laundry day. I, I burned this in all different rooms of the house just to like clean the air and it was perfect. The notes on laundry day are fresh air, crisp eucalyptus, and soft lavender. I have another one of these in backup. It's just such a good laundry scent. And I feel like you definitely get the eucalyptus. It reminds me of that trend now where like you put like eucalyptus leaves like hanging in your shower and it's just like super bright and fresh. That's what this reminds me of is that like just bright, fresh, crisp green with the laundry. Pretty good. I finished a raspberry tangerine. And how did I not realize until I watched Jessica D's video? She says this reminds her a lot of pink sangria, which is an old scent from Slatkin that I absolutely loved. And it does remind me of pink sangria. The notes are wild raspberries, fresh tangerine, and lemon zest. It's good, but it doesn't stand out to me. Like, I melted this at my, I burned this in my bedroom and burned all the way down. But I did not go in my bedroom and be like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Like, it was just a very light, basic, fruity scent. I just am not into fruity scents. I just, I realized it's like, they're okay. I'll burn them, but I'm not like going to seek out like, oh, I'm craving raspberry tangerine. Like, never. It's just how it is. Pumpkin pecan waffles. I have this because I melted a lot of things that had pumpkin pecan waffles in them and I wanted some ambiance. So I burned this, burned all the way down. What else can I say? Maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, spice, and brown sugar. A favorite, classic, love, always repurchase, pumpkin pecan waffles. And then last but not least, a homeworks candle, um, an unscented homeworks candle in hot cider donut. I had this started in my bedroom 
four wicks as big as my head. Videos online, at least these wicks stayed intact, but I've seen videos where the wicks are floating in the candle and like the flames go out. Like that is so unsafe and it's all about safety for him supposedly. Like I just, I, I, I'm not into that. I don't like that. That's unsafe. Like I don't like to not burn a candle. I understand you're supposed to burn a candle and watch it. I get that. But if the wick is literally like floating in the candle, like that's just not okay. So I will not repurchase Homeworks candles. I have a few in my collection, but after that, goodbye. And this is Harvest Apple, Cinnamon, Sugar, Vanilla Bean, and Spice Cider. I really like the scent, but again, burned it in a little bedroom and barely got a scent. And this is almost as big as my head. It should throw, and it didn't. So, will not be a repurchase. No homework scandals will now. I'm actually burning see, I'm burning through them right now. This is banana maple pancakes. I have two. One here, one in my kitchen. No scent. I cannot smell it at all. And they're big four wick candles. So yeah, Bath and Body Works candles burn better than they do. Kringle candles burn better than they do. This $7.99 Manly Indulgence candle from TJ Maxx was better than it. So anyway, let's get into the wax. Let's start with the Scentsy. I don't have a ton of Scentsy that I used up this week. Just really trying to use up some older bars, get rid of like some of the summery scents. And then I did, totally not summer, but anyway, vanilla bean buttercream. I've never melted this on its own. I don't know. I was just like, vanilla bean buttercream. I was burning that hot cider donut candle and I wanted to melt something that would not like overtake the unscented candle. Didn't realize it would be unscented. So I put vanilla bean buttercream in my bedroom. This was nice. It's like a smooth vanilla, but it would never be one I would ever order. Like I just, it's vanilla bean buttercream. It's very basic, very just smells like vanilla icing. So um, I would not necessarily repurchase that, but it was a nice to blend. I smelled that more in the room than I smelled the candle. Okay. Next, I did two, when I have two bars, I save it before I do it in my open concept or like my main space, um, in Stitch Experiment 626. How is this the most clubbed bar? I saw that Lacey, who's like the Sensi like consultant lady, um, she's like the head up, uh, said this is the number one most clubbed Sensi bar? Really? Like... It's just fruity. It's like peaches and pineapples with like some soft floral, like like a green soft floral in the end. But it smells like every other licensed Disney bar, like fruity. And don't even get me started why Scooby-Doo is clementines and pineapples, like, and strawberries. Why is Scooby not like graham cracker or peanut butter? Why is it fruity. Anyway, this is not about that, but it is like a fruity scent. So it was nice. I would never put this in my club. It was just a fruity, basic fruity scent. By the Sea. This was really nice. It definitely leaned more, more towards clean, and I prefer Make a Splash over By the Sea. I have both. I believe I still have both in my club coming. This is nice to have, but I think once they come, I will remove by the sea because it's already processed for the month. But yeah, it's okay. It's like a clean aquatic, but does not lean towards cologne aquatic scent. Definitely more of a fresh sea scent. So that was nice. And then Fiji Flower. Everybody and their mother is raving about this in the washer whiffs. I see every empties video is like, oh, this is the best ever. And I'm like, I've never even really, didn't even realize I had it. I think this was from the summer collection a couple years ago. It's too tart for me. It has like a, like a tart fruity scent. I'm not getting any flower, but I'm getting like a, a very like tart sour fruit. I don't know. I don't think Scentsy does fruity really well. There are just way too many fruits that they have in their collection that just bothers me. I don't know. Then I did Strawberry Rose. I love Strawberry Rose. Now this, you pick up on that fruity, juicy strawberry, and the rose is more powdery. I did this one day, 
in my bedroom and I have the air on, shut the door. I walked in the bedroom. Oh, it's so pretty. It's, it's light. It's airy, but it lasted all day. The fruitiness of the strawberry mixing with the powderiness of the rose. It kind of leans more towards like a candied rose than like a super powdery floral rose, but there is some powder in it. It's hard to describe. I love strawberry rose. If this ever came back, it would definitely go in my club. So those were my Scentsy empties. Now let's move on to my non-Sassy Girl Aroma because this week I'm focusing, or last week, I was focusing on Sassy Girl Aroma. This week is super tart. So super excited. I'm doing these like vendor weeks where I do melt other things, but it's heavily one vendor and I have so many Sassy Girl Aromas that I wanted to use and I was like, I need to have a Sassy Girl Aroma week. So I did. All right, starting off, real quick, this was in my last empties video, the Chicago outfit from Vintage Cheek Scents. I had two cubes of the Blossom Bar left, Juicy Blackberry Mango Infused Ginger Ale. I said this before, I'll say it again, this is the best fruity mango, like, ginger ale, any type of, like, fizz scent I've ever smelled. I love it. And then since I did that in my candle room, I did this in my bedroom for, like, cross wax cross wave wafting is juicy pomegranate sweet raspberry and bubbly ginger ale this was really nice it was like a super fruity ginger ale i prefer the chicago outfit if i'm gonna do a fruity ginger ale but this was nice and i think kirby's ginger ale scents perform really well i finished this last night i have a drawer or as natalie says a draw I think that's so funny. I love her New Jersey accent. I cannot wait to meet her in person in October. But anyway, I have like a drawer of um, like nighttime scents that I don't always reach for. I don't know why, but this was a poinsettia that I cut in fours and there was one fourth left. I'm like, I'm gonna use it. And I used it last night before bed. And it is from Vintage Chic Scents. It's Spearmint Peppermint Cotton Candy Frosting. It's odd that this doesn't have a name. It's just like three notes. Typically all of her stuff has names, but this is so good. It's so pretty. I love the peppermint and the spearmint blended together, but the cotton candy frosting just adds a little bit of sweetness, not overwhelming, just a really nice, pleasant peppermint nighttime, nighttime blend. Really, really like that one. I did one of the little samples from Super Tarts in my bathroom in Pumpkin King. I honestly can't even remember. It definitely didn't smell like pumpkins. It kind of smelled like a like spiced like herb. I don't, I don't really know. I, I did not love that. I did a little sample cup from Harper James in Raspberry Sangria. And like I said, when you see these like little guys here, I do these in my bathroom just because they're they're so little. This was very nice. I really like the fruitiness of this. It definitely gives you sangria vibes, like white wine sangria because it's very like light an effervescent mixed with the raspberry and I know that Harper James is having a restock on the 19th of her um, of her fall collection so really excited to check that out from L3 I have a little sample in chill out this was peppermint blackberry tea this was nice I like the blackberry tea note I think there's another one hatchet is it called or ratchet I think it's hatchet um, that is on my list to try from L3, but I'm not really ordering from L3 right now. I just have way too much that I need to get through. Not L3, just in general, and L3 doesn't have a long shelf life. So definitely want to try that when I do, but yeah, this was nice. Melted Mousse Cake by the Ocean. I actually did this in my bedroom in a, in a tea light warmer. Love this. This is like salty sea air and birthday cake. Really, really pretty. Love the brightness of salty sea air with that like rich, decadent vanilla birthday cake. Really nice. And then last, no, not last, never mind. Um, this is pumpkin pralines from Candles by Victoria. These were her like cube melts. I only had a little bit left of this and I'm like, why am I not using it? It was a very cool morning the other morning. So when I had the windows open, I stuck just this between two tea lights in my main space and like deep cleaned my warmer dishes. That way I had some scent going. This was so nice. It's like caramelized pralines, which is like that decadent, ooey gooey, caramel, nutty scent. 
blended with rich pumpkin. Really like that. So would repurchase that. Love pumpkin pralines. And okay, so these two are unempty, but they are not sassy aroma, so I wanted to include them. The first is Stormy Seas from Harper James. This is Sea Air, Himalayan Salt, and Driftweb. I did not care for this, you guys. The salt in it kind of leaned sweaty. I don't know. It was definitely, and I really do enjoy Salty Sea Air blends. I really do. I'm really learning to love them. But this one, ah, I can't do it. I don't know. But I'll probably finish this in a bathroom, in my bathroom or something. I just like let it go all day. But right now, it is not a vibe. Don't really love that. But I'll use it up. Uh, now this. This was amazing. Teddy Bee's Salem. Now I have one little piece of this souffle and that is fine. I am not mad that I have a little piece of this left. I think all I have is a souffle of this. I don't think I have any bigger sizes, but I'm going to. This is Gala Apples, Fraser Fir, Fig, Mahogany, and Cedarwood. This is a dupe for Autumn from Bath & Body Works. Yeah, I don't know why nobody's talking about that. Like I see people review this and love it, but it's definitely Autumn type. This was so strong. I took the souffle, I cut it in six. I did two warmers in my um, in my bedroom, Scentsy warmers. So I took two sixths, I put them in. By the third day, 24 seven, by the third day, I was like, I need to change this up purely because I just want something new in my bedroom. This threw so well, I did it again in my living room in two tea lights. And I I just cannot get over it. It is so strong. It's beautiful. It's sweet, juicy fig, sweet, juicy apples mixed with this like green outdoorsiness, but the sweetness is really forward in it, which is what makes it so good. Love. I would totally get a loaf of this if this is in the next pre-order, Salem. And by the way, before her pre-order, I have a very exciting video that I can't wait to share what I'm going to do with her pre-order in a video. But anyway, this was incredible. Love Salem. I'm having incredible luck with Teddy Bees. I've said it once. I'll keep saying it. Highly recommend Teddy Bees. Cannot get enough. Cannot wait for my um, ready to ship. It's going to ship this week. So hopefully by the end of the week, I have my Teddy Bees RTS to share with you guys. But that was all my non Sassy Girl Aroma. Let's move on to Sassy Girl Aroma now. Out of the way, I hop. You guys, this is a lesson learned. I do not like I hop. And it, it's honestly really sad because I should like it. It's pumpkin pecan waffles, maple syrup, and brown sugar, caramel, and coffee. This is a lesson learned. I have two loaves and four brittles, plus this, and a bag of blocks. I have a lot of IHOP, and I never melted it. I was just like, I love it, I love it, I love it. In the bag, I absolutely love it. It's great. It's pumpkin pecan waffle, brown sugar, caramel coffee, all of that. When you melt it, and this is it. And I'm, like I said, I'm going to be honest. And I understand um, there's a few ladies who um, think that I was up Julie's butt whenever I first started Sassy Girl Aroma and absolutely loved Sassy Girl Aroma. And once I find something to hate on her about, I will hate on her about everything. And that's just not true. If I don't like a scent, I don't like a scent. Um, yeah. And I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say that I don't because I like Julie as a person and I like her company, just like Kirby. IHOP is amazing on cold. On warm, it smells like Pam burnt on a griddle. Like, you're going downstairs, your grandma's making pancakes and she spritzed the griddle with Pam. And it just sat there and it like turned burnt. I just, mm -mm, I can't do it. It smelled like that the first time. It smelled like that the second time. I have the perfume in it and it does. It just, all I smell is that like burnt artificial butter. And I just, I just can't get on board with that. I don't know. So unfortunately IHOP is not for me. 
Oh my gosh, I got through so much Sassy Girl. I'm pulling out what I used. So, I only have two partially used brittles that I did not finish up. The first one is Major Dundee, and this one is Caramel Pretzels, Ice Cream Scoop Bread, Raspberry Brulee, Sugar Cookie Dough, and Zucchini. This was okay. Um, I will say there's only a few hits this week with her. This is okay. I'm, I'm noticing this Raspberry Brulee, I'm not really getting strong. The other one, I didn't melt it yet, but um, my bakery in Brooklyn, it just doesn't really, there goes the cats. Doesn't really like go through crazy. I get the pretzel and that's pretty much it. Like a, like a rich, deep caramel pretzel. And it's not a super yeasty pretzel to me. It's more like a like hard, salted pretzel, but it's okay. I didn't, I did not love it. Now the other one, I actually really did enjoy this one. This is one of my first orders with Sassy Girl Aroma. I got this in November, November 6th. This is Apple Baking Contest. This is Mac Apple, Graham Cracker, Cream Cheese Frosting, and Marshmallow. I was just really craving an apple scent, and I'm so glad I did, because I really, really like this. It was a very calm apple. It wasn't super sharp. It wasn't super, like, hit you over the head. It was just really, really like a rich apple with the cream cheese frosting and the graham cracker mellowed it out and the apple was really bright but it wasn't like over overwhelming apple so really 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 enjoyed that one now this is also partially used now this is a squeeze me in santos royale i love this scent i've melted brittles of it i have a loaf in it <laughs> Guys, they're crazy. I melted a brittle in it, I melted everything. And let me tell you, the perfume is amazing, but this, I got nothing from it. Now, I got this March 15th. I would think it had enough cure time by now, but yeah, and I'll tell you, this color, squeezed through a tube in your warmer, looked like dog poop. It didn't last long because it melted, but I definitely look like dog poop. Um, Palo Santo Sugar Cookie Royale and Toasted Marshmallow. This is basically today's October from L3. But again, I can't say that because if I create a blend that's very similar to another vendor, I, you know, get darts thrown at him. But other vendors can and it's okay. Anyway, just have some haters and I don't care. They don't pay my bills. So, anyway. Uh... Yeah, fantastic. Love the scent. Performance, not so much. But, yeah, I love the scent. I don't know if I need to try this in a hot plate. I did this in Scentsy Warmers, and typically, like, softer wax works better in Scentsy Warmers because they are lower wattages. But, yeah, I just did not get the performance that I was expecting from these. And I'm going to put this down because it looks very interesting, that color. All right. Now let's do samples before we get into all the empty brittles. I finished Dreaming of Tahiti. Honestly, I didn't really smell any of these in my bathroom. I had the window open in my bathroom and it like sucked all the scent off. So Dreaming of Tahiti. Oh my God, if I can catch it. Frosted Grams, Summer Blossom, and goji taraco citrus. I just, I could not smell any of them, unfortunately. And it was literally only because I um, had the window open in the bathroom and it like sucked all the scent out. So anyway, just moving on to brittles. I used quite a bit. So without this video being a hundred minutes long. Rolling pin, pumpkin pecan waffle, sugar cookie dough, birthday cake. I did this when I was burning the pumpkin pecan waffles candle, so I really couldn't tell. I just was wanting to burn something with it. Sugared peonies, pink peony, whipped cream, and cotton candy. This was nice. It was pleasant. I wouldn't repurchase it. It kind of leaned towards like pink chiffon-esque body care, and I don't love pink chiffon, so it was okay. I will say though, Sassy Girl Aroma, some of it, not all of it, I feel like there's only a few that I really get a whole day out of. Mostly, only a couple hours, and I don't know if it's the AC or what. So, I was happy to get through some, but I, uh, 
I want to wait until like absolutely no AC to see if I'm able to get longer performance because some days when I didn't have the AC on I'm like oh yeah this performed all day so I don't know if she's another vendor just like the AC just kills the wax um, a key lime zucchini, key lime pie crust, blueberry, marshmallow, and zucchini. I didn't love this. It leaned a little bit more fruity than like pie crust. Yeah, this was like fizzy pop. So didn't love that. Dunkin' My Donut, Jelly Donut, Strawberry, Marshmallow, and Toasted Marshmallow. I only got like three or four hours out of this, and then I changed it. Um, it was like a, like a Jelly Donut. Strawberry Soda, I absolutely hated this. Not Julie's fault. Bubbly Strawberry, Juicy Raspberry, Peach, Vanilla, and Musk. This just really smelled like that Bath & Body Works type, which smells like super artificial candied strawberry syrup. Did it in my candle room. I bake it, you take it. Sugar cookie dough, birthday cake, and zucchini bread. This was okay. It was just like a very creamy zucchini bread, like a, a good blender. I'll get by with bread. Loved this. This is cornbread, birthday cake, zucchini bread, and cupcakes at Tiffany's. Really, really liked this one. It was, again, the cornbread brought out this like saltiness with the bread. It was very warm, very delicious. Monkey around. Banana split, salted caramel, creme brulee, buttercream frosting, birthday, and pretzel. I did this yesterday when I lit this banana walnut or banana maple pancakes in both rooms. Really good. Really like this. This was like a, it definitely gave me like banana split vibes because it was very like caramely, pretzely banana. Like really, really like that one. The highlight of the week, Return to Oz. Love this one. Well, two highlights of the week. This would be number two. Pumpkin pecan waffles, salted caramel, blackberry jam butter cookies, and zucchini bread. Obsessed, loving blackberry jam butter cookies. Like I said, when you melt that, it just comes alive in the warmers. It smells so good. It's just, it brings up this jammy, shortbready, oh, so good. Blended with pumpkin pecan waffles, zucchini bread. This was fabulous, and I have a loaf of this, so really excited to melt that. Let's get glazed. This I double bad because it like ripped when I got it in the mail. Sweet sugary icing poured over a deep fried pastry. Really didn't get much from this. This was just like a like a pastry scent, like a like an iced pastry. But this mini muffin, coconut macchiato. I'm taking a break from Sassy Girl. I have like 200 low or 200 brittles. Like I said, I needed to calm down. But if this is available in brittles, I'm going in and buying three maybe four. This is a cold coffee blend of creamy coconut milk, espresso roast, maple syrup, topped off with cocoa chips and coconut shavings. Fabulous. This is like the best coffee. If you had a rich, rich latte and they took coconut cream, whipped it up with like some sugar, some, some, um, it says maple syrup, but I'm getting more like milk and cream and sugar and you air whipped that and poured it over this cold latte and it just became creamy rich and decadent that was this heavenly coconut macchiato and return to oz absolutely will go in for more of those if they're offered but i say my bin's empty but i was just dumping them in my bin that was my bin let me know what you guys worked on this week did you guys have some highlights finish some things off and as usual don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell in the corner that way you're alerted every time i upload a video here on youtube make it a better world be kind please you matter more importantly than ever you matter and i love you all so much bye guys